You're not gonna get your life together by putting things off because I would have realized by now if you could. Hello, what is up you guys? I don't know how to intro. I I don't know, today's a day. If you're new to my channel, my name is Joanna, and today I am going to be getting my together. Yay! We'll see how that goes. Basically, I was going to do an assumptions video and hop on that whole bandwagon, but when I asked for your guys' assumptions, a lot of them were that I was really lazy, that I didn't have my life together, that I just don't do anything, I have no goals. So yeah, I felt like very attacked and I decided not to make a video because they weren't mean. Do I have my life together? No. Am I working on it? Yeah, adulting is hard, people. So today I'm kind of gonna do a step-by-step -step of little things that I'm gonna do to kind of organize my life. I expect a lot of complaining from myself, but hopefully by the end of this, I will feel a bit better about my life as a whole. I can't tell if this is sad or not. What I envision this video to be like is Queer Eye, except for I am all five of the Queer Eye guys and I am also the person that they're making over. But before we get on into it, I want to give a big shout out to Green Roads for sponsoring this video. So if you don't already know, Green Roads is a CBD company and they sell a lot of CBD products to help with stress, anxiety, and pain relief. And all this is great news for an anxious gal like myself. What I personally like about their products is that there is zero THC and that is the chemical in weed that gets you high. I am going to need a lot of CBD to calm my anxiety about filming this video. I am stressed, I am nervous. I had like a full-blown panic attack while trying to plan this video out, but here I am. So I have a few things planned for today and I think I'm just gonna get right on into the first one. Number one is exercise. So I'm gonna go on a hike, I'm gonna vlog it, you guys can see me suffer, and yeah. You excited? <laughs> Fantastic. There are some people that go to Runyon and run up the hill. I am not one of those people. How long have we been hiking? Maybe five minutes so far. Am I already exhausted? Yes. Is this sad? Yes. Why did I do this? I'm already regretting this video. And this is the first thing that I have to do today. I swear I'm in shape. I swear this isn't that hard. Fun life update. Just saw Erica Costell. I love you, Erica. Okay, so the hike is over. Finally, do I feel like my life is more together? Maybe. We're gonna keep moving. We're gonna keep moving. I'm still, I'm still exhausted. I don't work out. This is nuts. Magically, I finished the hike. I am feeling a little bit better about the state of my life currently as an update. I am really sore because I don't work out and that was a lot for me. So to help me out with my muscle soreness, I have this muscle and joint relief cream from Green Routes. And so basically how to use it is it has a little pump and then you squeeze out a very small amount and then you rub it in to whatever is hurting you. If you are having any muscle soreness like I am with my calves, I'm just like rubbing it all in there and it helps tremendously. I also have a bit of scoliosis, so this muscle relief cream really helps because I get back pain all the time. I would highly recommend this for anyone who has back pain or muscle soreness or any type of chronic pain that they are looking for a natural solution. Another bonus, this smells great. So now that we are done with the exercise portion, thank God, we are going to move on to another task that deeply terrifies me. And that is going to be cleaning out my closet. And no, I have not seen that Marie Kondo show on Netflix, but I do get the gist of it. Does it spark joy? And if not, throw it away. So that's what I'm gonna do. I only wear like five different shirts anyways. And this task is so scary to me. Like I have been so terrified of going through my closet. So this is, giving me a little bit of nerves, a little bit of anxiety, you know? It's normal, right? I don't know. To help calm 
my crazy nerves. I'm going to be using um, this Green Road CBD oil, and I got the one that was 550 milligrams. So you're gonna fill the dropper up, and you can either fill it halfway, all the way. It tells you how many milligrams are in the dropper. I usually go full dropper, and then what you do is you put it under your tongue, and then you wait for 30 seconds, and then you swallow. This little dropper has been my savior, so hopefully I will be less stressed while going through my closet. I am already severely regretting this decision, but we've already started, as you can see, with the clothes on my bed. So all of these clothes are clothes that I am either going to sell on Depop or Poshmark or something. I still have a very long way to go though. These are all of the clothes that I'm getting rid of. I will be posting these all on Depop or Poshmark or whatever. So if you want my clothes, come and get them. Oh, I think I am done cleaning my closet, thank God. Unfortunately, there is still a lot of other stuff I gotta do today. Cleaning my closet was not as bad as I thought it would be. Now that that is finally over with, I'm going to go grocery shopping because that is what healthy functioning people do instead of just ordering Postmates every night. And I am also going to try to meal prep something. Let's get into step number three. Jesus, I can't. Ladies, we have secured the bag. And by that, I mean the bag of groceries. Time to get cooking. Welcome to my kitchen. I don't really know how meal prepping works all that well, but uh, we're gonna try it. What I'm making today is a vegan rice, bean, sweet potato, kale, something or other bowl that I found on the internet. I feel like Cami Scott, the vegan health queen. Believe it or not though, I am not a terrible cook. I think I can make food decently. I don't do it very often, but I feel like I'm okay at it. Okay, so we need to make the rice first. I think you have to be strong to do this. I have teeny muscles. All this is doing is reminding me how much I love pasta and bagels. Anybody else tired yet or is that just me? Cutting the sweet potato. <sighs> this is making me sore. I'm gonna have to use that muscle cream again for my biceps. How does one cut a sweet potato into squares? It is not shaped like a square. Things are happening slowly. Oh. Rebecca, do you want to just get my life together for me? You've called the right gal. Mm -hmm. Set an alarm for 15 minutes. Steam and some kale. Every time I buy kale, it is always the wrong kind of kale. Why are there so many different types of kale? Can you put hot water in this? A lot of work for no answer. So let me see. Just like trying to test out things for my ASMR video. Do not blend hot liquids. You're not turning this into ASMR. ASMR freaks me out. Hot. This is a beautiful ASMR intermission for your video. You can't even hear it. I think that was what they call visual ASMR. How many cups? 18 ounces? What's an ounce? Okay, well my camera died, so you missed most of what was going on. I am almost done cooking, and it's been a solid hour. So today is going really well for me. I keep thinking that I'm almost done with this meal prep, and it keeps going. I know it's gonna be so nice tomorrow though, having all of this done, and not having to make food. So that's a bonus. While the last bit of that is cooking, I am gonna do some dishes. I feel like that's what a responsible mature person would do in this situation. So the meal prepping is finally done and I will show you guys the finished product. I am sweating and I am tired, but I am getting it done. 
Okay, so this is actually going to be the most helpful part of the entire day. I'm going to respond to emails and figure out my schedule for the rest of the week, month, and so I'm gonna kind of sit down right now and take some time to schedule my life. I have my little monthly planner here and it's actually one of the best things I've ever purchased. Um, it keeps my months so organized and I have such OCD about that kind of stuff. So this is actually great for me. I'm just going to take a couple more drops of this because the less stress, the easier it is to do these things. I will keep you guys updated and let you know when the process is done. Okay, so that is finally done and out of the way. I am feeling so much better after just getting my schedule on track and answering all of my emails. It didn't take as long as I thought. What I'm learning is that most of these tasks are actually a lot easier and quicker than I anticipated, but I can still complain about almost anything because that's the kind of gal that I am. And the last step in my process today is going to be just going to bed early because when I stay up really late, I wake up really late in the morning. I'm going to set up my diffuser, pick a book, drink some tea, and just kind of get in the mood for bed. One of my favorite things that I found on the Green Roads website is their CBD tea, and it puts me straight to sleep. So I am going to go make some of this tea, put my diffuser on, maybe light a couple candles if I'm feeling it, and uh, just get to bed. I think that means that I should probably stop recording because you guys don't need to watch me fall asleep unless you're into that kind of thing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you enjoy this video or what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Once again, thank you to Green Roads for sponsoring this video. My discount code is super easy. It is just Joanna15 and that will give you 15% off any of the products that I showed you today and plenty more on their website. They actually have so many more that I didn't get to show you in this video, but I would highly recommend trying them out. All of my social media is in the description below as well. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. I will see you guys very, very soon. Stay the night.